Halloween Suggestions Part 5. I did Part 1, 2, 3, and 4, and I haven't done one, I think, last week, but I'm going to do it anyway. These are films I think you should watch on Halloween or any, any other day. Let's see. First one I pick is The Killer Clown from Outer Space. It's kind of a dark, you know, dark horror comedy, but it's still got horror in it. Sci-fi, you know. About these killer alien clowns from outer space. They land on Earth and turn these people into cotton candies and popcorn. It's so hilarious. You know, directed by the Chido Brothers. Not Chido Brothers, Canedo Brothers. However you pronounce their Italian names. Yeah, the Cadetto Brothers. But um, yeah, it's really good. You should check out the Killer Clowns from Outer Space, you know. I already talked about this video in my last Halloween suggestions, I think. But uh, I have the Blu-ray over the Cannibal Holocaust. Now, this doesn't play in the Region 1 Blu-ray players. You have to get a... I know this is the Italian one. I think you have to get a... Either region three or four, I don't know, but this won't play in the United States uh, Blu-ray player, Blu-ray players unless you have a region free Blu-ray player or DVD or whatever. Not Blu-ray any, but it's still you know about South Americans eating people alive. You know, a horror movie about cannibals. You know, you probably, I mean, a lot of people know about Cannibal Holocaust already, but still. The Leprechaun movies. My my personal favorite is the first Leprechaun. Leprechaun two. Leprechaun two was all right. The the scene that disturbed me in Leprechaun two was where uh, that old guy he wanted the Leprechaun to grant his uh grant him a wish and he he granted him the pot of gold that was in his belly and it kind of disturbed me as a kid. It looked like he was pregnant. You gotta see the Leprechaun two to know what I'm talking about. Leprechaun three. I do like Leprechaun three. And Leprechaun of Foreign Space was alright, but I always preferred the original Leprechaun. And I don't own uh, Leprechaun in the Hood. But if you like the, the Leprechaun in the Hood, you should check that out. Uh, it's okay, but uh, it's not my personal favorites. But uh, like I said, the first one is the best of all of them. The next one is not really a good movie, but I had it uh, for years. My grandma, may she rest in peace. I think she got it for me on my birthday or Christmas, but it's Sleepy Hollow High. About, you know, the legend of the Hellish Horseman, but uh, this film, even though it says it has three stars on it, it's not really a good movie, but the music video on this is, is cool. This one I got used, and it only, it's supposed to have two DVDs, two movies, but it came with one because I had it, I bought it used, and it's Elvira, one of Elvira's movie matinee. It just came with, uh, Count Dracula's Great Love, and then it came with uh, Frankenstein's Castle Freaks. I should have got this uh, new, but uh, you know, I was, I'm cheap sometimes, but of course I always show one of her films, Elvira, I always had a thing for Elvira, I still do. But I only saw Count Dracula's Great Love once, and you know, Dracula, he gets all the women, that's all I'm going to say. But check that out. I'll Check out Elvira's other stuff. This is only Elvira movie. One of her movie matinees that I own. I say matinee. I don't know if it, that is matinee because I can't spell sometimes. If it isn't, please forgive me. Which one should I pick now? This one is a, is also for kids. You know, this one, these were... A, Book, the books in the 90s, and I used to, I really didn't well, read a lot of books, but they turned the books into a TV show. I used to watch the TV show almost all the time. And you know, I'm talking about Goosebumps, the movie with Jack Black as R.L. Stein. And I don't own Goosebumps 2. I haven't seen Goosebumps 2 yet, but uh, I grew up with the Goosebumps franchise, and you know, I mean, this movie, I prefer uh, the TV show than the movie, but this movie is definitely worth checking out. And uh, the real R.L. Stein makes a cameo in this, uh, as I think the music teacher at the end, you have to watch that to uh, know what I'm talking about. This is the 
six movie pack blood that blood blood diner parents earth girls are easy earth girls was mostly a sci-fi comedy but i'm glad it's in here i don't care showdown the vampire uh, retreat fight on boy eats girl that irish horror film that i love because i love everything irish everything from ireland i love i like the leprechaun but anyway blood diner that's the prettiest horror comedy is funny Parents with Randy Quaid as the boy who spits his parents are cannibals. Earth Girls are easy, the sci fi comedy, but I'm glad it's in this uh, horror movie collection. Now, I don't think Earth Girls are easy is really a horror movie, but it's about, it's more sci fi comedy, but I don't know why it's in here. I don't care, I love the movie anyway. Fido about the boy or only the pet zombie. Boy eats girl about the zombies from Ireland. Like I said, I love Irish Irish stuff. I love everything Ireland. Check up, check this DVD out. It's, I mean, check it out. It's cool. I drank your blood. About these hippies, the boy puts dog rabies in the pies, and the hippies the hippies eat the pies, and they turn into zombies. But they kind of deserve it. I'm not going to tell you. Why he did it. You gotta watch the movie to, you know, figure it out for yourself. Oh, this is a scary cover. I love the artwork on here. And I love the creepy music in here, too. This one I bought last month. And I told the story uh, before my other videos. I mean, my last video. About the... I, Remember seeing this years ago when I was a kid, and I remember the scene where the cat eating the pet bird. I thought it was just regular gore, and the lady just walking around the apartment uh, complex, and she sees her zombie father, the senator. It's very cool and very creepy. And I also remember, like I said, Corey Feldman telling the. I'm telling Tom Hanks' character about, have you ever watched The Santa Mr. Peterson? It's about the old guy who kind of owns the apartment, the gateway from hell. You know, but that's, it's one of the cool 70s, uh, not really slasher, just demonic demons, horror flicks, that's what I'm going to say about that. And that was part, I think this is part 5, that this was part 5 of my Halloween suggestion videos. Movies I think you should watch on Halloween, and I'm going to do part 6, maybe tomorrow or next week, I don't know. But if you like this video, please subscribe um, to my channel and like, and give this video a like, and comment on, the, the, on this channel, I mean on my videos. Anyway, that's it, I'll see you guys next time.